welcome to science class last class we have studied about the different rules which we want to follow in the road in the school now we are going to study about the what are the rules should be followed in our homes now you all are sitting in your homes what are the rules you should follow it be safe at home the home is the most important place for you be safe the best place for the safe is your own home itself be safe at home do not leave your toys or bags or shoes on the floor what will happen if you are putting all these things on the floor there may have the chance someone could trip over them while we are walking through our houses somebody will trip over them second point be careful with the sharp things like knives blades scissors sometimes it may hurt yourself so don't use these type of things or with the help of the elders you can use it then third point why lighting candles or match sticks or hold them away from your body we should keep away from our body then next point fire can hurt your very badly then be careful near the stoves do not touch hot pans or boiling water next point do not touch electric gadget or the switches with your wet hands these are the point we should be careful while we are in the home they take medicines only after an adult supervision then do not play with the plastic bags or bed sheet or pillow cases sometimes it will affect your heads these are the point we should be follow while we are in the home now coming to the first aid what do you mean by first aid first aid means it is an immediate help given to a patient before taking to the hospital in your home a first aid box is must everybody's home a first aid box we should keep it all the necessary item we want to keep inside that some of the medicine which we needed for urgent medicines then some other things scissors bandage antiseptic lotion these are the common things we needed for our home so we can keep all these things in the first aid box then how we can give a first aid to the people do not panic or keep calm if the patient is with a, some problem we should not give them any panic we should say we should not be hurry or we should not panic to the patient we should not crowd over the injured person the good fresh air should get to the patient then call a doctor or an adult next thing do not let the wound bleed if the bleeding is severe it will harmful clean the wound with a antiseptic lotion then apply an antiseptic lotion or an ointment tie the clean or a bandage over the wound make the injured person sit or lie we should take care of the patient comfort your we should give comfortness to the patient we should always say it is not too much problem it is a small only we should give them the comfort 
these are the way the first aid should be taken care first aid means it is an immediate help given to an injured person before taking to the hospital then coming to the next point we know very well home is the best place we are safe home is the best place how we want to take the home in the best way a good house the rooms in a house should be airy and well lit morning we want to open all the doors and windows then fresh air we will get it and a good house have an open space like veranda or a courtyard and this give us fresh air and good sunlight then doors and windows should be fitted with a wiring net wire netting to keep the flies or mosquitoes away the next point a house should be how well planned drainage system well planned drainage system means all the dirty water we want to move away how to care of our house wash basins bathrooms to toilets must be washed clean daily curtains must be washed regularly drains from the kitchen and the bathroom must be covered otherwise what will happen the mosquito will breed and i in the uncovered drains so that we will get different kinds of diseases malaria dengue chikungunya all this then dustbin must be covered so that the flies do not lay eggs garbage must be thrown in the proper dummy if you are following all these ways a house become home when the people living in the live it and love each other you should help to clean your house make a pleasant place to live in so you should help your father or mother for cleaning okay these are the points we are these are the points in our in this chapter we will study more about in our live section thank you have a nice day